Hello and welcome to 30 Days of Hoya. Today we will take a look at Hoya species Rang Sen. You probably heard me say this before, but I will say it again. This is one of my favorite Hoyas. And I believe that is due to the fact because this was one of the first rare-ish Hoyas that I received. This Hoya is native to Southeast Asia. There isn't a lot of information that I can find on it, but I believe it's probably native to Thailand because it seems that most Hoyas come from there. Hoya species Rangsan is supposed to be very similar to the Hoya macrophylla that you can see behind me, and the flower is very much similar as well. Uh, so I believe that this Hoya will also grow best in that intermediate range. So from 15 to 35 degrees of Celsius or from 60 to 95 degrees of Fahrenheit. In terms of light, I would place it in bright and direct light. I did have it in my northwest facing window and it did fine there, but it's growing much better under my LED light, about 30 centimeters away from the light. I hear that this Hoya is very sensitive to overwatering. I didn't have those issues, I have to say. I water it about every 7 to 10 days, but then again my mix is very porous, very airy. You can see more of that mix in the, in the frame here. It is big chunks of bark, leka, a lot of perlite, some ceramis, a cocoa peat and general potting mix. This mix will drain really fast, so as soon as you water, you will see some water going down through the holes. And, I, and it did go overboard with the holes that I melted into the pot. So good drainage is very important. I do notice that this one can take more of that drought. And the reason I know this is because I received this as a cutting last August or early September. It was unrooted cutting and it took over 20 days to arrive to my home. So that's a long trip, but it was completely fine. It wasn't even dehydrated, very, very, very slightly dehydrated. When it arrived, it had this leaf and then this one here. It had a lot of peduncles, but they died back. It did grow three new leaves since I got it. So I would say it's a very slow grower. And many people experience this as well. They say it's painfully slow to grow. I can confirm it. And I'm very happy, very happy to announce that we do have a new vine. It took forever to push out this new vine, but it is here. And it seems to grow really fast when, once it starts to push out the vine. I rooted this in water very easily. And then I just moved it to my regular Hoya mix and no issues there really. It took about three or four months to bloom for the first time. So it didn't have any peduncles, all the peduncles just died back and it grew new peduncles and it bloomed for me for the first time, I would say around December. So maybe four months after I received it and it bloomed three or four times since then. So once it starts to bloom, it seems to be constantly blooming and First it put out just the one peduncle, but since then it put out several more. I do see some small peduncles that are just not developed yet. The flowers are in size and shape very similar to Hoya macrophylla. My Hoya macrophylla is in flower, so you will see some footage of that flower attached. Hoya species ranks and does have a similar flower to that. The smell is a bit different. Uh, I couldn't really put my finger on the smell of macrophylla, but my friend helped me. She said uh, she hears it smells similar to coconuts, and I can I can definitely see that. It does smell something like that. Rangsen to me doesn't smell anything like that. It smells more sweet, and the smell is much stronger, especially the second time around. The first time around it was milder, but the second time around it was much stronger. Of course, the second time around I did have several peduncles that were in bloom, so that possibly contributed to that. But the smell on Hoya Rangsen for me is very heavy. This one is also heavy on Hoya Macrophylla, but I think uh, it's not so strong. So this one does fill out the entire room, even on such a small plant. I do think this is a very good Hoya to grow if you want to see the blooms very quickly. It will not be a fast grower unless you get an established plant. So 
think this one took some time to get established and now it's put pushing out the vine but it will bloom for you very very easily i would say i think the leaves are absolutely gorgeous maybe that the color is not exactly silver maybe it's more lighter green slash silver a mix between the colors all of the leaves have this beautiful silver splash that you can see some of them have more silver some of them have less silver the big one has a bit less but the new ones do have more silver in the leaf and on the older leaf here it does appear more light green but on the new ones i think it looks more silvery to me this hoya is not available in a flower store not available in a garden center i haven't seen this hoya being sold in an orchid nursery or in a hoya nursery so i do think you will have to get it from a collector it's absolutely one of the best hoyas that i have uh, very easy to bloom and very easy to take care of. It hasn't been very challenging in terms of temperatures nor humidity. I haven't seen that humidity affects it a lot, so probably moderate or even lower humidity will be just fine for this Hoya. Thank you for watching. This was Hoya Species Rangsen, and I will see you again in our next 30 Days of Hoya.